टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट पॉलिनोमियल्स एंड देयर रूट्स और जीरोज बट वी विल डू दैट यूजिंग द प्रॉब्लम इलेवन फ्रॉम आईओ क्यू एम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी दिस प्रॉब्लम सेज दैट एक्स इज अ गिवेन सेट ऑफ इंटीजर्स कंजिस्टिंग ऑफ इंटीजर फ्रॉम नेगेटिव फाइव टू पॉजिटिव फाइव एस इज अनदर सेट कंजिस्टिंग ऑफ द ऑर्डर पेयर्स ए एंड बी सच दैट एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस ए एक्स प्लस बी विच इज अ पॉलिनोमियल एंड एक्स क्यूब प्लस बी एक्स प्लस ए another polynomial have at least one common real root or real zero so how many such order pairs are there in s so let us first try to understand about polynomials and what is a zero of a polynomial a polynomial is a mathematical expression of the form a n x power n plus a n minus x power n minus 1 so until a 0 x power 0 these a n a n minus 1 till a 0 they are called coefficients of the powers of x and the highest power of the variable used in the polynomial which is n in that case is called degree of that polynomial now graphically polynomials represent a curve on the plane and depending on the coefficients and the degree of that polynomial that curve will change now let us try to understand the concept of root or zero of a polynomial using one example so i'm considering p x is equal to x square minus x minus 2 a polynomial we'll put some values for x and we will try to note their outputs and we will con concentrate on the graph of the particular polynomial so we can clearly see if we put the value 0 p of 0 would be 0 plus 0 minus 2 so the value of px is going to be minus 2 so for 0 the output is minus 2 similarly for 1 the output will be minus 2 again for negative 1 the output is 0 and uh, for negative 2 and positive 2 the outputs are 4 and 0 respectively now if we plot these points on the graph and we try to draw a rough sketch of this graph it will look like this particular curve over here where we can see that the outputs are zero at the points negative 1 and positive 2 so those values of x which makes the output zero we call them roots or zeros of that particular polynomial and we can notice that the at the uh, zeros or roots of the polynomial the curve intersects with the x axis so that is the significance of uh, significance of a zero or a root of a polynomial now we also can have this as a standard result that px is going to be zero if uh, at x equal to a if a is a zero of the polynomial or root of the polynomial so now using this concept in our problem if we assume that we are given two different polynomials px is equal to ax x square plus ax plus b and qx is equal to x cube plus bx plus a and if we assume that alpha is a common root means it's root of the first polynomial as well as for the second polynomial then uh, we can say that at alpha px and P, uh, qx both are going to be zero so we get alpha square plus a alpha plus b is equal to zero and alpha cube plus b alpha plus a is going to be zero now we will multiply the equation 1 by alpha and subtracting it from 2 we get a alpha square minus b alpha plus b alpha minus a should be equal to zero because alpha cube and alpha cube will cancel each other so by simplifying this we get a times of alpha square minus 1 is going to be zero so the possibilities are either a equal to 0 or alpha will be plus minus 1 or both will be true now we will consider different cases so first of all if a is equal to 0 then from the first equation we get x square is equal to minus b now we need a real zero so if x square is going to be minus b then this minus b has to be positive to get some real values of x that means we can understand b has to be less or equal to 0 now if b less less or equal to 0 means we know a and b comes from the set x so possible values of b is minus 5 to 0 which includes six values here and a is constant so we get six possible order pair a comma b now if alpha is equal to 1 
Then from the first equation we get 1 square plus a plus b is equal to 0 then a plus b is equal to minus 1. So a becomes negative of 1 plus b. So we can understand that a can vary from minus 1 to 4. a cannot be 5 because then b would not be in the set x anymore. So a can only vary from minus 5 to 4 which gives us 10 values. But a equal to 0 is all also included here and for a equal to 0 b becomes negative 1. So which which is already counted we already counted in that that case in the that value in the previous case. So we get 9 values from here. So there are 9 values for the ordered pairs a and b. So earlier we got 6 now 9. Now let us consider the third case where alpha is equal to negative 1 and this gives us 1 minus a plus b is equal to 0 which implies a minus b equal to 1 and which implies a equal to 1 plus b. Again we can understand a should vary from minus 4 to 5 because a if, if a is minus 5 b is going to be minus 6 which is not in the set x but b should come, come from the set x. So we again get only 10 possible values but when a is equal to 0 b will be negative 1 which is already taken. So we get 9 different values again 9 new values again so 9 values. So total number of uh, order pairs will be 6 then 9 then 9 which makes it 24 values and that's our final answer. Thank you for watching we'll meet in the next video.